Hello and welcome back my fellow members of Section 9. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos this week. I know yesterday we did a YouTube rant and we took it out of the game for just a small breather and I think that's actually rather hopeful because it gave me time to kind of pick up and think about some more stuff to do and it opens up a whole other section of things that I can branch out into as long as I'm playing Ghost in the Shell in the background which is what the game is about or the channel is about is about Ghost in the Shell. I feel like that should be pretty good. So today we're going to go ahead and go over the Tachikomas or the think tanks. Now what is a Tachikoma? A Tachikoma is a fictional artificial intelligence rocker slash roller in the Ghost in the Shell universe or in Ghost in the Shell First Assault Online. I know it's a mouthful. But it's a, it's a little think tank thingies that uh, roll around when you're playing uh, Conquest, I want to say. Basically, the uh, Tug of War CTF is how I like to refer to it. Uh, they're appearing in the game, the manga, and uh, the standalone complex sub-universe. Nine of them are assigned to Section 9 use originally. They are spider-like, multi-legged combat vehicles equipped with artificial intelligence. Spider design appears in other places in the creator's work like Appleseed manga and Shero is noted to keep numerous spiders as pets. Okay, uh, the Tachikomas are as large as an average sedan and are painted blue and have four eyes fitted to the surfaces of their bodies. Three are on their head and one is beneath their abdomen. Each has three eye pinholes, loosely resembling a bowling ball. These eyes sometimes become expressive in the typical anime style. Tachikomas are controlled by individual AIs and are capable of speech and generally exhibit a childish, curious, joyful, active personality. Although they are, they are consummate professionals in the field, they normally operate as independent units and receive orders from human agents, but they can also be directly piloted from the cockpit and their abdomen. Now, with that being said, I hope, I hope, I hope that in Ghost in the Shell First Assault, when it fully launches, that we will have the ability to control our Tachikoma think tanks, because it would make them so much more useful. Because as of right now, they just kind of go where you, wherever they want to go, and they do whatever they want to do. But if you had somebody actually controlling it, it makes it that much more important to try and hack it and to try and take that thing down. Because it's going to be so much harder to take it down if there's somebody controlling it than if it's just doing whatever it wants. Or if you can't control it, at least give us the ability to tell it, hey, we want you to go here and lay down fire support so these people can flank around, you know give us something so that we can use them more strategically instead of them just going all whack-a-doodle AI, what the hell am I gonna do, I'm gonna do whatever I wanna do. I mean, sometimes they get killed, sometimes they don't, but being able to control them would be nice. Where are we? In the airbins. Its design is implicitly based on the jumping spider in terms of biomechanical modeling. The system technical design was based on the Fuchikoma, which is a completely different thing. The Tachikomas have four legs and two arms. They can move by walking or they can drive at high speeds using wheeled foot pads on each of their four legs. Each wheel appears to be an angled omnidirectional allowing the Tachikomas to move in any direction with their drive system which can be controlled all degrees of freedom in its task space. Other abilities of Tachikoma include jumping great distances, sticking to vertical or inverted surfaces, engaging a thermoptic camouflage mechanism, and grappling and repelling using their adhesive strings and launchers. The Tachikoma's maintenance control of their legs maintains control of their legs while using the Okay, yeah. While using wheels to drive down the road, and they can shift their weight and turn and turns around turns. Oh, around turns. They can also roll briefly on two legs while driving to avoid obstacles or pass through narrow spaces. To make balance easier, they can move their heavy abdomens with a ball joint. No. Standard Tachikomas are, are equipped with two. 7.62 by 51 millimeter light machine guns mounted in the right arm. A secondary weapon hard point in the snout. A 50 millimeter grenade launcher capable of launching both explosive and gas grenades, which can be replaced with a six barrel 12.7 by 99 millimeter Gatling gun. A universal cybernetic connector on the extensible, on the extensible, eh, this is a mouthful of words, I'm sorry. Uh, prehensile cable in the left arm, liquid wires that can be used for grappling and repelling, 
or for restraining and purpose of built for thermoptic camouflage systems. So they are basically what they say a tank. Um, Bato was pretty famous with these guys because he adopted one and he fed it uh, oil and then it all of a sudden started to develop a personality and they thought that the personality was going to be their downfall and they actually managed to save the entire team in the TV show. It was wonderful. Well, most of the team anyways. I think the entire team got out, but they saved Bato and the Major both. I believe that the Major was... Er, Bato went to the Major's uh, house to get something for her that she left. And he felt bad and he just wanted to go and get it and see if he could find the Major, I guess. And he got ambushed and the think tanks actually saved his life, sacrificing the three that were left. They sacrificed their own lives for his, took down his enemy, and actually allowed him to uh, get away scot-free. He had some injuries, but he did get saved when the Major showed up in a kind of like drone dummy body. And took, her, took him back to one of her uh, secret hideaways that she had off the books, so nobody was looking for him there. But they are generally pretty funny in the TV show, and they're really cute sounding in the game. That's all I have on the Tachikomas. There's a lot more in the wiki, like, uh, you, they have everything from the episodes and their appearances from when they appear. And they even have more of a description about what they are. But I mean, that's a lot of information to go over, and basically, I told you what the designs was and what they have on them. Uh, they do, uh, oh, one thing that they do do is they do synchronize with each other. They synchronize all of their thoughts and memories so that they can share them, and that's one of the big things that kind of separates them. So like, say they have an individual personality, which we know from the TV show. One of them can do a lot of studying about how to defeat people and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, every single one of them have that knowledge. So, it's really nice and really cool to see that that's how they work. They work as a team, kind of a hive mentality, so it's really nice. And that's uh, that's all I'm going to talk about for the Tachiko ones for right now. I might come back and do a description and appearance things later if it's demanded, but there's really no need to talk about them anymore. That's all you need to know. That's all I'm going to talk about. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me down in the comments below what would you like to see next in the lore. I will try to get to it and tell you more about it. And besides that, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like if you really like this content. It helps us out a lot. And if you're interested, hit that subscribe button and become a member of Section 9 today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hello, everybody, and welcome back. It is Wednesday and I hope that you guys are having a great week so far so today we're gonna hop right into it we're gonna be talking about port now here's where things get tricky because I'm talking about maps and this is really just gonna be a tactic on the map I there, there